In this video, I'm going to be talking about a recent video that was made by Amandla, Amandla Sternberg, something like that. But you'll know her as the Star Wars actress from the Acolyte series. You know, the Star Wars series that's been absolute trash that everyone's talking about. Well, a few days ago, she made a music video, and I'm going to be reacting to that. Of course, if you're a fan of this channel and would like to help support my content, then tell the like button that you'd like to play a game of hide and seek. And then, after you've counted to about 20 or 30, and the like button is already far away and hidden, just walk away without telling them and continue the rest of your day. Also, please hit this subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified whenever my new videos drop. I cover movies, TV shows, gaming, and anime, and so if you're a fan of any of that kind of content, then this is the place to be. And I'm going to be uploading three, four, even five times a week. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, um, hold on a second. <laughs> so, um, so Discourse is the name of this video, and uh, this Star Wars actress, um, Amandala, or whatever her stupid name is, I, I don't know a whole lot about it, apparently, yeah, I, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. I, I hear that she has made this video in response to all of the, the backlash of the, the racism, you know, and, um, I, I, the people I've been talking about this, I'm a little late to the party, just starting off, though, um, she's dressed like, oh, how do I say this nicely? Um, a lady of the night, um, maybe in some really kind of ghetto downtown area. I, d I don't know. This is Disney. Hello. Let's go. Is that the new dance move, by the way? It's it's like it's like this right here. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Probably not. You know, white people can't dance, right? I'm going viral on Twitter again. That's what she's saying. So I think she's talking about when she was doing that video with Trevor. It's a video, I actually posted one of my videos, but from what I understand, it happened several years ago. She sits down with Trevor Noah, I think that's the guy's name, and she's basically talking about some other film, and she talks about how making white people angry is the point of it all. And it was a little bit different context, but really you could copy and paste that into the Acolyte, because, geez Louise, it's... It's kind of like night and day, so it still kind of applies, but it's not exactly the same. But I, I think that's what she's talking about here when she brings up Trevor. Okay, so... Alright. So this... White people cried they could see us as human beings. Black people being murdered. The same old song and dance of, um, you know, just victimhood. Uh, this millionaire who is in one of the most extremely privileged places you can be. Uh, I heard this whole track was, you know, feel bad for me. I'm the victim. Victimhood, victimhood, victimhood. Uh, I just, oh gosh, I, how long are we going to have to hear this? This constant white people are just like crying because, and you know, black people are being slaughtered in the streets and, and, and anytime a black person is successful or a woman or LGBT or, or whatever it is we're talking about, it, it you know, white people cry because they're just white supremacy and, uh, yeah, hmm, all right, uh, let, let's hear, let's see the rest. Trevor asked what I want the people to know I said white people cry, what's the goal? That they could take one thing, what would it be? I say empathy Oh, that's why they mad at me They splice lines, make hate, they recognize Make it look like the same propaganda 
is beautiful. I wonder how much of this music video is going to be zoomed up in front of her face. It really looks like I can't stand the afro. She's not um, the ugliest person in the world, but um, it's kind of, it, it strikes me as almost, uh, you know, kind of narcissistic. It's like, let me just zoom into my face and just, you know, the entire video. I don't know. It's a stylistic choice, but, um, oh man, I don't know. We'll see. Cause they complain our pain with violence And try to weaponize everything that we do The desperation of oppressors is rising The desperation of oppressors is rising And they try to She says that uh, They try to um, Weaponize everything that we do So it's this constant White against black White people are the aggressors And um, We're trying to weaponize every single thing That they're doing Desperation of oppressors is rising. I just, it, it just, it just comes across as just so cliche now. You know, I think there was a time whenever, you know, people were buying into this. And I know there's still a lot of people who buy into this narrative of just white supremacy and, you know, cops are going around slaughtering blacks in the streets and it's all out of, out of hatred. And it's just, oh, we just hate those blacks, you know? <laughs> I just, but it, it's just so nonsensical. It's, it, it's, I, it, this video, and, and when you couple that with the fact that, like, she's like a millionaire, she's working in a, she's an actress in a Star Wars, and you're getting valid criticisms because your show sucks. Like, it just, it, like, there's no way around it. Your show just sucks. And you're trying to take these criticisms and molded into this oh well it's all out of hatred and bigotry and and racism and it's just the same old song and dance and oh, oh gosh how long is this video <laughs> let's keep going if you rely on misinformation then you're afraid of the truth funny that script can go both ways if you rely on misinformation, then you're afraid of the truth. You know, there's a saying that those who um, preach the loudest have the most to hide. I don't think that they realize how much, or she, I don't think she realizes just how much projection is going on here. Oh no, not again. Oh no, they set it up. How do you do it like this? Oh, I, I think I got it down. I just need an afro. <laughs> MFers, MF, MF, MF. This is Disney, by the way. This is this is Disney. This is from the Acolyte, Disney-owned family company. Um, geared toward kids, you know, and this is made from response. Oh, just, oh my gosh, she's in front of a Planet Fitness, by the way. Oh God, what is that other thing? Rainbow something? She's in, she's the maybe it's just a Planet Fitness advertisement. Maybe it's on like the second level. Uh, if you've heard about the Planet Fitness stuff going on. <laughs> Woke was something recreated. According, like, black people? Is woke something black people created? Is that a word that they made? I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comments. Is, is that true? If so, what did it mean? Because I certainly, you know, I... It's first I'm hearing of that. Now it definitely means something different than probably whatever it used to mean. I don't I don't know. I mean, maybe black people were the first to came up with it and the way she's saying it though, it, it sounds like we're we're misusing it, we're appropriating the word. We as in the whites. I just I just can't stand this race baiting BS, man. And now they use it to describe anything they think, but another Wikipedia put it in the zeitgeist. It was all about the people. 
people recognizing bigotry, the power of community, not fodder for your clickbait. Speaking of which, journalists are looking at you. Did you forget it's your job to provide the truth? Oh, God. This is almost as unbearable as the actual Acolyte um, Star Wars TV series. Why is she singing like that, by the way? You know, like she's whispering. I mean, again, just a stylized kind of choice, but... Spreading mm. device and mining the metrics and data Seeing you gave up all your life, it's your money and views And I can tell that the people are tired And the kids don't trust anything that they do We can learn something from them to serve them The future's coming and it's always the youth Uh, we so bored, don't F wit, yo, discourse. Um, I think there's some spelling errors there, but <laughs> beside that, beyond the point, um, the youth is the future. You know, the funny thing about teenagers is most teenagers and even young adults now have kind of a built-in BS detector, and they see stuff and they really can tell when someone's being genuine Versus when they're just kind of propaganda and dishonest, you know. Um, you know, so it was that way when I was in school, you know. You could always tell when a teacher really genuinely cared about you and wanted the best for you versus someone who was just collecting a paycheck. And I don't think that the next gen... Yeah, I, I might be in the minority here, but I don't really think that the next generation and gen whatever, Z is done or the millennials, whatever they're called... I don't think they're as stupid as this Amandala chick or whatever her name is makes them out to be. I think that there might be some who see this and listen to this and just are like, yeah, this is amazing. White people hate us. Racism. But I think there's others who are going to look at this and just be like, you know what? Your TV show just sucks. Your, your, your TV show is just crap. And um, what's really sad is it's really going to echo as the next several decades goes on because Star Wars used to be this massive event. As far as the teenagers relating to it, man, in like, in like even 10 or 20 years, no one's going to care about Star Wars. I mean, a lot of people don't care about it now, but there's still kind of older people who grew up with it. You know, it means something. The teenagers who see this stuff and they see you know, all these showrunners and, and, and all these people crying racism and all that kind of BS, even if they get on board with it, it's just going to switch as quick as the seasons do. And in about 10 or 20 years, it, they're, they're just going to look back and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, that was that thing with the real crappy TV shows. Yeah, I think I watched one or two episodes of that. And, and it's not going to mean anything. I mean, this has no longevity to it at all. Uh yeah, you know, we're almost done, guys. Just, just hang on. Oh, God. There's that dancing again. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you see, I could I could be in, a, you know, I could be an actress. Not, not an actor, an actress in a, a Star Wars show. All right, come on, let's wrap this up. I just like the victimhood. Four hundred years is taking their BS. I just. You know, I'd love to sit down with this chick and ask her and just be like, hey, um, have you ever been a slave, you know, or have you ever had a chain around your neck? You know, it's like she might say, well, I've been discriminated against. Join the club. You know, it's like so have we all. We've all been discriminated against. There's you can try to argue there's this system of racism or whatever. There's this invisible boogeyman. The truth is, is that we all have hatred inside of our hearts. We all have, you know, evil inside of us because we're all deeply flawed. And we all treat other people sometimes in a negative way, in a disingenuous way because of our differences. And one of the main differences that people have 
and the easiest one to distinguish is the skin color and so oftentimes there are people who will treat you know birds of a feather flock together and there are people who are treat people who look like them better versus people who don't look like them worse I don't think that's the norm in America. I mean, it is the most diverse place in the world. The whole melting pot idea that where we're all from different places and yet we all still kind of need to get along. That's a really big deal. Um, but of course, there's still going to be pockets and some people who don't dis who disagree with that and, and they don't want to do with that. And they there is racism, but that racism is on all sides. It's coming. Sure. I'm, I'm sure there are some white people like that. But there's black people like that too, and there's Hispanics, and I'm sure Asians, and, and all uh, people, we're all flawed. And sometimes that hatred comes out, and, it, and it's ugly, you know? And this, this stupid victimhood mindset of, well, you know, just 400 years of oppression. And when you couple that with the fact that it's like every person has been enslaved in this world at some point. It, it's just, it's just this, uh, this constant victimhood 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 it's always their fault and when you have that mindset it always causes you to neglect your own responsibilities because after all it's like well i'm black so it's not my fault for this a b c or d it's the white man's fault 400 years of oppression to compartmentalize like my ancestors had to engage yeah 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 if you don't come from the pain that you live with, it'll manifest as addiction, diseases, and hate. It'll what? It'll manifest as addictions, diseases, and hate? I hate the idea of watching any extra more of this. It'll manifest as addiction, diseases, and hate. Hold on. Oh, God. Let me go back. If you don't confront the pain that you live with, it'll manifest. it'll manifest as addiction, diseases, and hate. So, if you're living with pain that supposedly is caused by white people, then that pain will come out of you and manifest itself as addictions, diseases, and hate. So if you're addicted to a substance, like a drug or alcohol, if you have any kind of disease, or if you're angry and full of hate, that's white people's fault too. It, 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 it is, is, hold on, let me, let me, let me just get this. If you don't confront the pain you live with, which she is, from everything I've heard so far, seems to be attributed and has come into effect because of white people and slavery and everything white people has done. And because of that pain, if you don't deal with it as a black person, the pain that white people have inflicted, then it's going to manifest itself as addictions and diseases and hate. So all of the black people who are addicted to some kind of substance or drug or have a disease or have any kind of hatred, that's because of slavery and white people. That's what it sounds like she's saying to me, which is retarded. And it alleviates, again, any person in that circumstance of their own choices, which most likely they are, not always, there's exceptions, not always, not always, but most likely they're in that circumstance because of their own choices and decisions in their own life that they've made as an individual. No, you're just gonna live in like a very fancy house in Malibu with your millions of dollars. Your only way to get an early grave is going to be through drug addiction. Directed and edited by Amandala. God, what is this? We've only got like 20 seconds left, so let's just... Oh, she's so happy. Oh, this is so wonderful. Oh, okay, good. I think we're finally done. Well, guys, that was interesting. Um, I can see why this video made the rounds. I don't think it's trending anymore. I'm a little bit late on the mark. 
Um, the song sucked. Uh, I know I paused it and stopped a lot because, you know, uh, the whole good YouTube algorithm stuff. Yeah, you, you don't want to get struck on any of that kind of stuff. So I kind of had to stop it and pause it here and there. I thought the whole thing was stupid, though. I heard it was stupid. And based off of everything I've seen from this actress, everything involving the Star Wars show, everything involving... All the actresses, all the characters, everything around it is just crap. It's all deflection. It's deflection to take your mind off of the fact that the writing sucks, the character sucks, the acting sucks, the whole plot sucks. It, it is just absolute crap. And again, it's just a moracism. It's just a stupid excuse. But that is just my overall thought. So guys, I would love to know what you guys think. So if you're a fan of my content, then please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and the bell icon to be notified whenever my new videos drop all you have to do is make a youtube account doing that is free and subscribing is free and it really goes a long way in helping out the channel so guys thanks again so much for watching and until next time have a great freaking day